guys and welcome back to my channel this is Anastasia guess what you guys guess what we are having a giveaway Woo! this is so exciting because shimmer and confetti they want to give back to you guys as well so they are giving away five not one five kits of this balloon garland kits take a look beautiful so you guys if you want to participate in this giveaway please check all the rules in the description under this video you must follow all of the rules I'm not gonna do any anything crazy and over the top but you must follow those simple rules and you'll be entered for this giveaway winner will be announced in two weeks you guys if you're interested and you want to win this kit go ahead and enter so for today's video you guys i am doing a request balloon garland just recently i put a poll on my instagram stories and also i asked you guys in my community um chat what you want to see next what kind of color schemes you want to see in my balloon garlands and i got so many requests i'm going to go through them probably like two years in a row i got so many replies and i'm thankful i am open for suggestions it's this is amazing thank you all for participating and today if you want to see who's request i am making then stay tuned and let's go let's quickly go over all of the supplies that i have here most of the stuff stuff here is my leftover balloons from my previous diys so let's start with these yellow 36 balloons five uh, yellow inch balloons 12 inch yellow balloons 5 inch blue balloons, 12 inch blue balloons, 12 inch red balloons, my balloon tying tool, I can't go without it. It's so handy and it's so helpful. It helps you not to rub off or damage skin on the side of your fingers. Very great. I will link this in the description below and so as the other things. Also, I am using my 10 pound fishing line. Can't go without us. Who watches my videos and following me, you know that I like using fishing line over any other methods. Also, I went to the store just now and picked up these beautiful um, kits over here. Paper fans, each pack has three fans. I am excited to try them out and incorporate these into my balloon garland. Also, I am using my electric balloon pump to blow all of these up and very important, low heat glue gun to attach the rest of, of my balloons to my balloon garland. Low heat glue gun won't pop your balloons, but it will hold your balloons in place like there is no tomorrow. All right, let's go. So what do I want to do with this garland? It's going to be a little bit different. Looking at the amount and size of the balloons, the inches in balloons, I am thinking how I will utilize these big balloons better. So I'm thinking to go with yellow at the bottom, kind of with like big balloons and make it more like this crazy shape uh, yellow section and then go with blue, but a little bit smaller you know, like a pyramid shape, you know, it's bigger at the bottom and it's going to get smaller. So blue in the middle, like a medium size section, and then finish up with my red balloons, but uh, blow them up as small as I can. I hope that makes sense. And I am pairing the balloons, but pairing them with the same color. I'm not mixing up the colors this time. So I'm going to to the balloon garland in three sections in three colors. Let's go. As small as I can, and then pairing them together and tying them together as a pair.
far it looks like it's going to be uh, a smaller balloon garland than usual let's try to construct this if anything i can blow up more balloons that i have set aside i didn't want to blow way too much but we'll see what these balloons will bring us today let's go i am starting with my fishing line putting on the ground watching trying not to tangle my, myself into it i'm starting with bigger balloons taking my fishing line and tying a first cluster of balloons with my fishing line okay first step is done now let's take our second cluster putting on top pushing it a little bit closer to my first cluster and wrapping my fishing line around one of the balloons once and push it towards my first cluster again wrap it around a different balloon and push it towards the first and then wrap around bigger balloons and push it closer again around a bigger balloon and push it a little bit closer again around one of the smallest balloons and push it closer this is what i have so far keep on putting your clusters on top of each other and building your balloon garland wrapping around and pushing to make your balloon garland nice and tight when I was building my balloon garland can you see this oh I just caught myself with my fishing line please be careful and it stings I need to go wash my hands and put some band-aid on I am done constructing my balloon garland to secure your balloon garland you're going to take your fishing line over here with one hand uh, hold on to the tail of this fishing line wrap around one of the balloons still holding on to the fishing line with this hand and then as when you wrap your tail around one of the balloons you will create this loop over here and then feed it through this tail through this little circle of a fishing line this loop do this a couple of times to make sure your balloon garland is completely secured and you're done to hang my balloon garland i am using uh, my fishing line i'm going to cut a, a two strings of fishing line then wrap around one of the sections of my balloon garland and then go to my fabric i already have my safety pins pinned to my fabric so go with the fishing line to the safety pin tie it and will hold your balloon garland great if you don't have a backdrop or anything like that solution for you is to use command strips me personally i haven't tried them but i heard they are amazing and they hold good and apparently they, they don't damage the walls so if you're looking for another solution command strips or not command strips command hooks will probably be the way to go for you. So let's attach this. Alrighty guys, so this is how this looks so far. I still have a few balloons loose, those individual small balloons. So let's see and let's fill some space on this balloon garland with those balloons. I'm using low heat glue gun. Let's go. I'm done with my balloon garland, but here I wanted to 
add these paper fans as I showed you a, li uh, a little bit earlier in this video. I bought gold color kind of like to match the yellow, red color and blue color. We'll see. Let's open one of those up and see if it's going to look good. If it's worth it. Why did I choose a paper fans? Because they are easy and they are flat. So let's open these up. And they do have a tape right here on the side. So you just take the top portion of your tape and glue these fans together. Nice. I love the color i love it so much i love how this is shiny and white is white beautiful i don't know i kind of like it it adds something interesting to the balloon garland so let's open all of them up and attach them to our balloon garland this one is not glued i am going to just probably tuck them in between my balloons or right on top because I want to glue them. I'm still not going to return them, but I want to glue them. So go ahead, put some glue on and glue them on. If not, if you're sure that they're not going to fall at your party, do the same what I did here and let's go. Look at this. Oh, this is so pretty. Wow, colors. I mean, I mean, come on. I'm going to glue them on because the position that I want to place them in, balloons are not holding and even this one just fell. So I'll just glue them on. what I have for you guys today very cute very different at the same time and uh, I like the fans I like the color and I like everything about this balloon garland I can't remember how many balloons I used and uh, what size I will let you know in the description under the video also I will list every single supply in the description below as well and you guys this garland from blowing the balloons and constructing and attaching extra balloons took me two and a half three hours to make this whole thing i like it let me know what you think and i will share a few pictures at the end of this video Alrighty guys, so here you have it. This is my DIY for this balloon garland. Let me know what you think. I thought it was um, fun and it was very different but very cute at the same time. If you have any questions, you guys don't hesitate. Ask me in the comments down below. I'll be there to answer and chat with you guys. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and you guys don't forget get if you here for the first time hit the subscribe button for more videos and i'll see you back very soon bye